Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we're here at the January 2018 Metal Investor Forum in Vancouver. Uh, I'm uh, speaking with Cooper Quinn, the CEO of Osprey Gold. Uh, Osprey is focused on gold in Atlantic Canada, Nova Scotia specifically. Uh, so, what do you? Th what's? What do uh, investors have to look forward to? I mean, one thing to get out of the way since it is January. Uh, this is not an area where you've got any kind of really extreme seasonality at all when it comes to getting work done. No, and I think you know that's one of the advantages we like about uh, the province. There is you know the ability to really do work year round. It snows a bit, but it's not you know in the middle of the mountains somewhere with avalanche danger. You know, with right. helicopter drills where you know on the roads we can drive there with drag things around with a bulldozer. So. We do plan on doing some work uh, through the winter here, which I think is, sets us apart a little bit for over the next few months from some companies, which should be an advantage. Um, I think you know, one of the projects we'll start doing some work on that we haven't really had a chance on the ground at yet is Caribou. Um, that's kind of our next step here while we go through the, uh, the data from the Goldenville Summer Program. We're kind of running those two in parallel um, in terms of the data side on Goldenville and then the on the ground side at Caribou. Um, that's a project, the more we tear into it on the data side, the more excited we are about it. Um, so we're looking forward to getting some, you know, real boots on the ground and shovels on the ground there. I think we'll, we might start with some a trenching program and then work towards uh, drilling. Now, is that sort of uh, is that sort of sort of classic Maguma, um, uh, you know, sort of reef parallel veins? I mean, is, is Caribou are there, are there any real differences, say, between Caribou and Goldenville, which is sort of the marquee project with the resource that you had? Yeah, you know, I think one of the things that really brought us to Caribou, we looked at a lot of different projects in Nova Scotia, and so Caribou happens to be at the boundary between between two major formations. Um, you know, one of them is the overlying Halifax formation, which is primarily argillites. Um, so that's the finer grained unit that uh, Atlantic's having so much success in in their uh, with their kind of disseminated open pit style stuff. Um, and we've got some pretty good indications, I think, on the ground that there's going to be some disseminated mineralization in that argillite. You know, what exactly does that look like? Is then that's now our job to figure out, I guess. Um, right. But we're pretty excited with uh, with some of the historic uh, work that's been done there and that the potential for that mineralization in those argillites, as well as historically it was a high grade mine, um, and. You know, within that kind of classic Maguma terrain, there's also these larger stock work zones of, you know, instead of half meter to one meter intersections, there's 10, 12 meter intersections of, you know, nine, 10 grams. And so that's another area we could build some tonnage pretty quickly, I think, if no, uh, we can. Is that something that's recognized? I know there's like a small resource there, but is that Gretchen stuff really recognized in that resource, or is that sort of a, a thing on its own? So, so uh, there's a historic resource on the project from 2005, I believe, 2006, of about a hundred, just under 100,000 ounces. I mean, it was a compliant resource at the time, but has since kind of elapsed. Um, it includes one of these stock work zones, but the indications are that there's a couple others on the project, and they're open-ended. Right. So, um, you know, okay. that's it's on the same structure as well as Cochrane Hill, which has similar intercepts and similar widths and stuff. Um, I'm not exactly sure of the nature of the mineralization there, but the grades and widths are pretty similar. Okay, so what, what do you think, uh, you know, an investor in Austria, I mean, you know, it's had its trials and tribulations, it's pretty good, pretty good low price right now. Over the next, say, three to six months, what can an investor look forward to in terms of workflow and news flow? Yeah, so I think, you know, we'll start work on the ground here uh, fairly soon. Um, you know, pen, it's January 20th, or sorry, 19th now. Um, so in the next couple of weeks here, we'll get to work on the ground and we can be starting to advance and push these projects forward, um, you know, kind of ahead of the curve a little bit for uh, a lot of the other Canadian uh, explore codes. Right. And so that'll be an advantage and should, um, you know, then we'll be able to roll into our summer programs, I think, pretty rapidly. So constant news flow should be, news flow should be pretty constant toward for the next few months here. And I think you've got I think you still have a few drill results coming, right? No, no, no. We, we do, correct. We've we still got the last round of results coming from uh, Goldenville. I expect to have those out pretty, pretty shortly here. Okay, so, I mean, it's been a little bit, it's been a bit of, a little bit of quiet. I really like Caribou. I mean, I, I think that's a pretty cool project. So it's nice, it's nice to see there's going to be data flow from that now. Uh, I expect you guys will get a lot more active, and I think there'll be a lot more news flow in the next three to six months. And I think that's really all you need to get the, to get the market to sit up and pay attention. 
Yeah, you know, I hope so. I think uh, especially if we can start to evidence, you know, solid solid evidence of that disseminated mineralization at Caribou, that'll get people excited. And, uh, you know, we're really excited about those bigger stock work zones as well, because we can build some ounces there pretty quickly. And uh, I know it's sort of a region of the world that's near and dear to your heart. Yeah. <laughs> this is true, yes. I'm from one, one parent on one side, one parent on the other side of Nova Scotia. <laughs> okay. So, sounds awesome. Good. Well, thanks for the time, Eric, and uh, we'll talk to you soon. Okay.